Hey kids, it's JJ. Got a quick tip slash warning for you. As you may or may not know, hang on a second. Um, the If you use Betaflight 3.2 and flash your ESCs with um, the D-Shot commands, you can actually send beeper tones through your motors. Now, this Cerebus build that I did, and I just put a video up of it last night, freaking badass, right? Um, this is the first quad I've built in a very, very long time that does not have a beeper. Check this out. Um, just gonna grab a, just a 3S here in case she takes off and kills me. Don't do this at home. If you're plugging in on the bench, kids, take off, take off your props. See that scar, where is it, right there? That's from my Y4 one morning. Stupid. Okay, so check this out. It's loud, right? Okay, make sure I'm not armed. Now, grab the radio. Now, if I throw my beeper, there is no beeper in this quad. Nice and loud. And that's going to take the place of your beeper, which is great. However, the thing that I wanted to warn you about and I have tested this. This beeper will not work for a low voltage alarm. Most of us are flying on um, uh, OSD nowadays. So you're watching your voltage go up or down while you're flying and you kind of know when to come in. Uh, this will not work in the air while you're flying. If your voltage goes low, it will not beep because in case you've never noticed or didn't know already, uh, your motors do not make noises. I'm sorry, your ESCs do not make noises. They generate a specific pulse v value that makes the motors twitch. That's why you see them moving with those noises like the Star Wars stuff or the boot up commands or whatever else. Um, so they do this little fluctuation and that's what gives you your beeping noise. This is impossible to do while you are flying. So with these, most of us are flying OSD, but a lot of our little micros, I just rebuilt my little Flyg 100 because I fucked up my frame, uh, put new motors on it, and yeah, it's not a long story. But anyway, um, I still put beepers in these because some of my micros, most of them have OSD, but some of them don't. Um, and you're relying on that beeper down there to beep when your voltage goes low. Well, if you don't have it set up, I'm sorry, if you don't have a beeper and you have it set up on 3.2 and you're relying on your motors to beep, ain't gonna happen in the air, kids. So if you don't have OSD, you still might wanna use a beeper. So that's just my quick tip today. And let me know if you have any questions on that. When I do the Zebra FPV build, I'm going to do the build, uh, probably with Blackhawk and possibly even Nick in Serbia. We're gonna do the build, and then the next day, I'm gonna go over setting up the whole DYSF4 controller with Betaflight 3.2 and the D-Shot commands in BL Heli. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll be this weekend. It might not. It might be next week. So anyway, keep shining side up, kids. Hope this helps. Talk later. Bye.